Hi everybody, good morning, happy Friday. So I wanted to come on and talk about um, your skin. I haven't done my skincare routine yet and I thought I would just share that with you. The first step I'm going to do before I get started, lip volumizer. This is what I always do as like a first step in my skincare routine. I love lip volumizer. It gives like a natural plumping without the chemicals, without the needles, um, and it provides 50% um, of moisture, so love it. But I wanted to talk a little bit as I do my skincare routine, why skincare is important, how it affects um, your overall results, depending what you're looking for. Um, I'm gonna start off by saying that I never cared about skincare. Being in my 20s, I felt uh, invincible and, you know, I'm young. I don't need skincare. It doesn't matter. I'm going to just go to the drugstore and I'm going to get this little cheapy thing um, for my face. But I truly never liked the result. I just didn't know what else was out there and I didn't know what I needed. So I just used it because it's just really easy. I go to CVS or Walgreens, Target, Walmart, just pick something off the generic, whatever, like, I don't know. Um, but I would always experience um, things with my skin that I wasn't happy about or I didn't like, uh, maybe tightening or um, it just wasn't tightening in a bad way, like uh, my skin was really dry. So prior to being on a skincare regimen, I had very um, unmatched tones like it was all um not balanced um the climate of my skin had like dry patches some oily areas um but the majority like super dry um and I just never knew what um how to fix it what to do um but I had always seen like these other brands but it just seemed really overwhelming and so um I didn't start truly caring for my skin until after I started Cinegents. And that is because through Cinegents, I learned how important it is to care for your skin. And um, I was given the, the, the tools and the steps in learning why is it important for your, to treat your skin. Whether I'm using um, these products or something else, I learned the basics of like what is important for your skin, period, in order for it to thrive and for you to see the results that maybe you're seeking that you're not. So, I learned that treating your skin is the basis for everything. Of course, our body can make our skin react in different ways, whether hormonal uh, or you're going through um, treatments or medications. So keep all that stuff in mind. But the way that you treat your skin, I'm talking right now about our face, it results in how your makeup looks, um, uh, the longevity of uh, and... Um, result of like your skin elasticity and the brightness and everything. We have the ability to play a part in helping the process of our skin, um, essentially turning the clock back with um, products and ingredients that uh, our body naturally produces that as we age, they um, don't produce as much. And so that's what I'm gonna talk a little bit about. Um, so uh, the first step that I do, I already cleansed my skin. Um, and I used our cleanser. I am in normal to dry. We have different um, skincare um, systems like for normal to dry, dry, normal to oily, or oily to acne. So it, it, the first step I would say is identifying what your skin type is. Um, and I've always kind of been like a normal to dry. I figured that out. Um, we have a skincare questionnaire that I'm gonna post in the comments here where you can identify what your skin type is. But I will say as we age, um, our cells don't come to the surface of our skin as fast as they once did. Um, and especially like being uh, when we're born, we're born with 100% hyaluronic acid, which is um, actually in our climate control. Our body naturally produces it. But as we age, our body doesn't produce it um, to the full capacity. And about like when you're about 19 years old, you're actually at about more than half um, 
depleted of hyaluronic acid. So you'll notice when you approach age 30, most people notice a change. And I definitely noticed a change in my skin. And um, and I, I started Tenagents three years ago, but when I turned 30, I started no noticing changes in my skin and I tried to um, find products that were gonna do better for my skin. Um, but it wasn't, it like I, I thought it was doing good, like, oh, I got a new cleanser, it cost me a little bit more, like, it's it's really great, but I just, just having a new cleanser wasn't enough. There was different things that I wanted, that I, um, it, I think it's important to incorporate of, like, a system, because um, a cleanser is super helpful, but a moisturizer is also great. Doing an evening thing is great. Something for your eyes to help with the elasticity around the most sensitive area is important. So just knowing what you need depending on the needs that you have is what is important. So it's not like like every single person needs this or needs that. Um, we have a lot of different, we have our basic skincare system that you can uh, get individually, but we also have different treatments and like our Nangai oil, for example, like, um, you can use this as a treatment. You can use this for a lot of different things. It helps with intense moisture, but depending on what your skin type is, that's when um, that's when uh, you can uh, realize like, oh, I actually need this um, to treat my black spots, or you know, it just really depends on your skin. But the way that you treat your skin is the basis for everything. So I. Uh, come across customers who um, they say I have really really dry uh, I have dry skin so when I put on my makeup it looks really flaky or it's peely and they think that they need new makeup or they need a new foundation and I'm like well let's figure out well what are you doing to treat your skin I don't do anything to treat my skin what do you wash your face with oh just water just nothing and I'm like well we got to figure out to we got to figure out like a doctor would if you are um have a deficit with hormones or um depending whatever it is we have to treat the issue treating the issue is treating your skin to get it to where it can be where it needs to be in a healthy balance so if you're experiencing makeup peeling off well what's the root issue? It's your skin. So let's figure out how to treat your skin and then your makeup is going to look better because your uh, skin is going to be um, in the right place, feeling healthy, um, looking healthy, uh, not experiencing these tonal... Um, I can't even speak this morning, you guys. I think I did not have enough coffee or it's mom brain. Um, of dryness it shouldn't be like that if your skin is like have is patchy of uh, dryness or oily um uh i see a new product came out i will be sharing that about that soon but um you want something to balance it out okay um so the first thing that i'm going to do in my routine is our climate control um this has hyaluronic acid and our cineplex complex which rushes new skin cells to the surface faster um, this is what it looks like before it's activated. You can see the way that you activate it is like you shake it really um, hard or I bang it on a counter. Once it's light blue, I'm like almost out of it. That's when it's ready. So in my first step, I'm going to climate control. And I just did that just because I'm running low. So I was trying to get it into the little thing. I'm going to do Cineserum C. And Cineserum C, I like... Um, because it lightens and it brightens and it tightens because it has the active vitamin C in the formula. Active vitamin C is really important for your skin. Um, there's many products on the market that don't have active vitamin C. Essentially, you're putting vitamin C on there that isn't gonna have um, little to no effect. You want something that has it active. So look on the ingredients, whether it's or not, you want active vitamin C, okay? So hyaluronic acid, this is really important. Climate control love it it um repairs damaged skin beneath the surface um and it helps to uh fix the climate of your skin to give it a nice balanced um climate so it's all one tone of moisture okay really great um and then i'm going to go on to my daytime moisturizer oh i did want to mention the cleanser that i already had put on um, it um, cleanses, tones, and hydrates in one step. So you're not needing a separate toner or anything. 
Um, it's really good for sensitive skin. So keep that in mind. And all of our products, um, a little bit goes a long way. They're highly concentrated, so you only need a little. So as the daytime moisturizer, just put one pump. Um, so this is my normal to dry. I did that. I always make sure to get down to the decollage. Decolletage. I can never say it right. Down to the neckline. Um, and then I'm going to end with silk. Silk is our, I basically like a primer. Um, it's our... Um, pore and wrinkle minimizer. So basically fills in fine lines and pores to give a nice smooth finish. I kind of think of it like spackle. You're spackling and filling in. So it's going to give it a nice smooth surface. And every time I can already see the difference. The minute I put it on, I see smoothness. Um, and then I just let that set for about like 10 minutes or so. And then I go on to my makeup and then my makeup will um, go on a lot smoother. It'll look a lot smoother, um, more like a airbrushy feel or look I call this a filter for your face so that is basically my skincare routine um, in the morning um, depending on what treatments or what my skin needs are I might add in the Ningai oil for extra moisture um, I might do our eye illuminator that has our eye cream and pearlizer in it to help brighten my eyes but at night I do the eye cream so just keep in mind you guys that the way you treat your skin will dictate the, um, hey Jamie, the results that maybe you're looking for. If you're not really happy for your skin, but you don't know where to start, let me know. I can help um, figuring out, you know, what's best for you. I have samples of our skincare, but just in general, you guys, um, with our skin, the way that our skin looks, whether we have rosacea or you have more redness, it, it's really like something to do like a self-examination of like, how do I care for my skin? Is what I'm using on my skin the right uh, products for my skin, for my skin type? Sometimes people are using the wrong products for their skin type. Maybe they're normal to dry. You're using normal to oily type products that aren't benefiting your skin. You're using the wrong thing. So it's getting down to the roots of that issue so that your skin can have... Um, uh, can um, be what it is meant to be, what uh, for it to thrive by treating it with products that are going to help and encourage it to be um, vibrant, luminous, um, in a great climate where you're not experiencing patchiness, um, all those kind of things. So I hope this made sense. It's a little fumbly with my words. I think I'm still tired. I don't know, but hopefully you learned something. And again, if you want any samples of the skincare, just let me know. I have them. All right. Have a great day, guys. Bye.